Good morning, it's Thursday the 12th of February. This is the ETS Capital Daily Market Bite. Asian stocks and the euro fell on Thursday as markets erred on the side of caution over the ongoing Greek uh, debt ne negotiations amid conflict in headlines uh, on progress in the talks. In seven hours of crisis talks in Brussels that ended after midnight, uh, the Eurozone finance ministers were still un unable to find uh, some form of agreement, even a joint statement uh, on the next procedural steps. Both sides played down the setback, insisting uh, there'd be no uh, rupture. Uh, the Dow was slightly down by 0.04% at 178.62 spot 1.4%. Um, the S&P following uh, suit as well, fractionally down at uh, 20, uh, 68 spot uh, 53. Uh, the Nikkei, interestingly enough, climbed uh, to 179.79 spot 72 um, at, um, I mean, up, up sorry, 1.9 percent thanks to a significantly uh, weaker yen. Um, in the uh, FX space, the dollar yen uh, rose to 120 spot 27. Now that's uh, near a five-year peak. Uh, of 120 spot 48, um, which was nearly reached, and, and actually uh, amid a brightening outlook for the US economy uh, and rise in, um, in Treasury yields, the Australian dollar fell after weak uh, jobs data, uh, increased prospects for further easing by the uh, Reserve Bank of Australia. Uh, Australia Aussie dollar down 0.8% uh, uh, at 0 spot 76.60, uh, uh, not far uh, off a seven year low uh, of 0 spot 76.27 after the RBA uh, cut interest rates down to 2.25 percent in uh, the, the, the sterling against the dollar the intraday uh, bias remaining uh, neutral at the moment at 152.35 uh, uh, we had uh, low, lows yesterday of 152.19 and highs of 152.99 uh, euro dollar there's potential consolidation uh, pattern here still going uh, currently at 113.24 uh, with lows of 112.80 and highs of 113.52 uh, the com commodity space enough to talk about from yesterday's crude oil inventories crude oil rebounded as conflict in Russia escalated and uh, Saudis and their uh, Russian uh, energy giant Gazprom are trying to come to some form of agreement between uh, the OPEC and non-OPEC uh, oil producers Brent crude uh, had lows yesterday of uh, $55 10 cents per barrel uh, and highs of 58 dollars 10 cents uh, per barrel in yesterday's session u.s crude uh, was up 1.3 percent um, at 49 dollars uh, 45 cents a barrel uh, after dropping as much as uh, three percent overnight on u.s stock stockpiles hitting record highs uh, in the equity space uh, rio tinto global miner handed shareholders a two billion dollar capital return on top of a higher than expected dividend on thursday uh, even though they reported its worst half year profit in two years uh, rio estimating um, that 125 million tonnes of iron ore capacity came out uh, of the market in 2014 and still expects at least a further 80 million tonnes to come out this year as a result of weak pr prices. Uh, in former uh, British uh, media group reported the statutory uh, full tax uh, pre uh, pre tax loss hurt by a, a non cash impairment of two hundred and nineteen million pounds total dividend payouts uh, nineteen point three percent about three pence per share imperial tobacco group dividend growth of at least uh, ten percent confirmed quarter one growth uh, brand uh, vo volumes up eleven percent net revenue up fifteen uh, percent. Um, in terms of what's happening uh, today during the course of the day, uh, the uh, EU summit's taking place in Brussels. Um, we've got uh, Carney speaking at 10.30, so that'll be interesting to see the stance of the Bank of England coming out at 1.30 as well. We've got US data, we've got retail sales uh, month for month, core retail sales month for month, and also um, un unemployment claims. <laughs>